Salwete de Schipoli. Um, this video is for any of my uh, seventh grade students who are unable to attend class uh, this week um, and are going to be missing out on this uh, in class lesson. So if you're attending class, you do not need to watch this. We're going to be covering this in class today. Um, we're going to be going over the stage two model sentences at the beginning of the chapter. Um, so this part one of this video is going to be um, just a read through of the different sentences in the Latin and practicing reading our Latin out loud, um, kind of taking a look at the new, some of the vocabulary. Um, we're getting some new vocabulary and then again using our pictures for context clues. So um, watch this video first, practice saying the Latin sentences out loud, um, and then you're going to write down your translations of the sentences, and then you'll head over to part two, um, where you will uh, go through a correction of the sentences. We'll go through the translations together, and you can make any corrections you need on your own translations. Um, and again, if you're missing class this week, um, you will need to send me a picture of your completed and corrected model sentences so that you can get participation for class this week. Um, all right, so let me just... Uh, move my face a little bit so we can still read everything. All right, so we have amicus. Right, this is amicus here. Caecilius est in atrio. Amicus caecilium salutat. Metella est in atrio. Amicus metellam salutat. Lucia est in atrio. Amicus Luciam salutat. Servus est in atrio. Amicus Servum salutat. Canis est in atrio. Amicus Canem salutat. Now, quick note, if you haven't yet watched uh, my video on the grammar for this chapter, you might want to check that out before you start translating these, because as you may have noticed, we're seeing some new endings on our nouns here. Um, we're going to be learning about subjects and direct objects in this chapter. So pay attention uh, to those endings and what they're doing in the sentence and check out that grammar video if you haven't yet. All right, we've got a few more of our model sentences. Here we've got Matella. Cocus est in culina. Metella culinam intrat. Grumio laborat. Metella grumionem spectat. Cibus est paratus. Metella cibum gustat. Grumio est anxius. Metella grumionem laudat. Amicus est in horto. Metella amicum vocat. I think that's all of the, yes, that is all of our um, model sentences for today. Okay, now, oh, hang on, I can't get to the, there's the previous page. All right. Um, now, in this group of sentences, there's quite a few new vocabulary words. So if you're never, if you're not sure about some of the new words, um, you can always check out uh, some of the extra bonus vocabulary in the chapter. Check out the vocabulary for stage two at the end of the chapter, or you can check the glossary at the back of the book um, for any words you might not know. Um, so always look there if you're unsure. Try to use context clues to figure out what is going on in the sentences. Um, but you can refer to the vocabulary here if you're just really not sure, because there is quite a few new, um, quite a, there are quite a few new words uh, in this particular grouping of sentences. Okay, practice saying these sentences out loud. Again, you can re-listen to me saying the sentences, read through them, see if you can figure out what's going on, write your translations. And then once you have your translations completed, you can head over to part two of the video, um, and we will go over the translations together. All right, Walete and see you in part two.